this is my brother Steve trying to get Bella to um, get used to touching if she didn't want him to touch her she would go to the back of the stable and not come forward so it's not a pressure thing it's just um, a matter of uh, uh, trying to accept uh, who we are and uh, actually touching her face and her body which of course she's not at all used to I'm careful not to box Bella into a corner she she has obviously hit a corner there but you can see there's plenty of room between me and her so she can turn her bottom as she did then I don't find Bella an aggressive horse, just a timid, um, unsure horse who's never been handled, so it's all very strange for her. I keep at her shoulder just to be on the safe side um, in case she was to lash out, but I have not seen anything uh, in her manner to suggest that. As I'm chatting away, Bella's listening, but she stood quite patiently there. Her ears are tilted towards me, backwards, but not flat back against her head in an aggressive way at all. My aim is to, of course, put the head collar on her. For me to do that, she has to accept me touching her face, because you need to be able to put your hand on her nose to guide the head into the nose of the head collar. Again, she's not upset she's not stomping with her front feet she's not shuffling about she's standing quietly and ears keep coming forward and back no problem at all because she's frightened of being touched i have to be a little careful um with me patting because she's quite as you can see there that just that little tiny pat uh, worried her you could see her shuffle backwards so it, it's um just gently gently with bella you don't want to be giving her a big pat it's just a little stroke and a little pat she's moving backwards there um because i am patting her and stroking her so it's a bit bit odd for her she's not used to that i've been in and out of the stable quite a lot and i've got to the stage as you can see here i can just slip that rope over her, over her neck and there we go we've now got a head collar on I do quite a lot of lunging with young horses when I'm um, getting them gentled, ready for backing. And I find that these rope head collars are marvellous because it just gives you that little bit more control. When they start pulling about, you don't want them to pull the rope out of your hand. So that's why I use those. They have a little knot in each side and it just puts a bit of pressure on should they start acting up. I also like to tie it, the loose end up so that it doesn't flap about if they're cantering and smack them in the eye. Bella has now been with us three days and we want to get her out of the stable and into the little paddock so she can have some nice grass and a run about. Getting her out of the stable is not an easy matter. She's just, she's just scared. I'm using a 14 foot training lead rope and I'm using gloves in case she was to pull and try and break away because I don't believe you should let a young horse get away from you. You want them to think that you're stronger than them. Of course, you can't always <laughs> keep hold of them. You know, you just can't. But she's quite young, so she, it's different for me to handle a yearling as opposed to a three-year-old unbroken. There's a difference in strength. She's, she's not as strong as a three-year-old, but she's still pretty strong. And I'm using gloves just in case she was to um, pull back or try and take off. I've got the gloves on it so I don't get rope burns. And as you see, she just steps calmly out in her own time. No pulling on the lead rope or anything. She's stepped out and she's just having a little look about just to see what things are like. She has a little something to eat as a thank you for coming out. So we very carefully and slowly walk away from the stable. She's worried by the gravel, but then so is Ike. So I give her time, she has another look, she steps forward and onto the gravel. She's nervous, but she's doing well. Her ears are forward and she's looking about, and then she notices on her left, the bullocks. That's worried her, because she's stopped. And now something in the front 
has caught her eye. Could be more bullocks or it could be Diablo. Two seconds and she's fallen. She didn't hurt herself and she was soon back up on her feet. And uh, just still looking at whatever it was that frightened her, whether it's Diablo or the, the bullocks. It's nothing to do with the lead rope or me. She's standing there calmly, just wondering what it is in that field. I think I was more shocked than she was. She's just um, mesmerised by whatever it is in that field. I don't know. It, Diablo or the bullocks, I don't know which it is. I wanted to take her to the paddock so she could run around and have some grass, but I thought, after trying to move her feet again, she was a bit reluctant. And I just thought, well, we all thought best to put her in the menage, really, so she'd never run about in there. I think it's worth having a look at Bella's rear and fall in slow motion because it was so quick. You can see there is a slackness in the lead rope. She just turns away. She meets a little resistance. She's only just getting used to her head collar, as you know. I keep hold of the reed rope because I don't want her to uh, get away from me for the reason I've already said but also we have vehicles in the garden so we don't want her to run into those. She feels more resistance. She doesn't know what the head collar is all about because she's never had any training and she just moves and goes up but meets the resistance which puts her off balance the grass is a little slippy as well, but it's mostly that she's got herself off balance and she falls. Horses do fall. We've seen Farouk and Apollo fall. She's unhurt and is quickly back on her feet. Whatever it was in the field that made her turn and run away is still there and she's still looking at it. Would I have time to let go of the lead rope had I been able to? I don't know. We're talking seconds. Has Bella reared up since? No. Has that shaken her confidence in me? Absolutely not. I hope you found this explanation of interest. Look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. TTFN.